Hey, 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 hey. How are you guys feeling? It is your girl, Tanisha Sinead, here with a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation to kind of get us forward thinking um, about the things that we do in our lives, right? Our lives. Um, as many of you might know, professionally, I am a teacher. I'm an educator. And I've been teaching for the last... Wow, like seven, eight years now. Started very young. Um, I teach 95% of the time adults. I just entered the teens, middle uh, middle school, high school arena. And I'm, I'm just one of those. I love to help people to become a better version of themselves. So normally when I speak, a lot of my videos are about health and you know following your purpose or finding your purpose chasing after your dreams and tonight i really just want to have a very open and candid conversation similar to what i have with my students similar to what i have when i do professional development um video i mean on um, workshops at organizations at schools because i think this is something that a lot of people tend to forget now we have a lot of we all have an amazing talent, right? We all have gifts. We were born with them. Um, a lot of us, we developed them over the years. And, you know, we I can't stop who you are. Like, you are who you are. The gifts and the talents that you have, um, no one can take them away from you. You know, and I never want any one of us to believe that someone can just come and snatch your gift away from you. We have the ability to do some extraordinary and amazing things. And I think that as people develop and they grow, hold up one second. You know, I wish I to get some people to, you know, to come in. Um, because I think these are the, top, the, the type of topics that a lot of people are afraid to discuss. They're afraid to talk about it. Um, if you can, I would love if you can share. Let your friends know. Um, the different inspirational messages that I do put out there to provide so that we can have this candid but healthy conversation surrounding this thing called life and life as we see it today. Um, so give me two seconds because again I think sometimes we tend to forget and someone sometimes someone needs to let us know like yo you're standing in your own way. I'm not standing in your way. You're standing in your own way. And until we start to really understand that, we are not going to see the results that we truly, truly desire and that we want. Um, so I hope you guys are having a fabulous Tuesday. Um, today is actually my very, very long day. But I won't complain because I'm doing the things that I need to do. I'm touching the markets and the fields that are going to inspire people. So I just invited some people to join us. Um, but yes, so as I was saying, as an educator, as an inspirational speaker, as an author, just as someone that just truly believes that each one of us have an amazing gift and that our gifts are going to be the fruit that's going to provide us with the life that we all desire. But I think sometimes we all forget that even with those amazing talents, those amazing gifts, if your attitude does not meet and match your talents and your gift, then at the end of the day, you really have a talent that's going to, is not going to reach the potential that people really want to see it. I'm going to say that again. You can have an amazing talent, an amazing gift, but if you don't have the attitude that matches it, then you have a talent that's not going to reach its fullest potential. So when I look at someone and, you know, human resources, if anyone has ever worked in human resources, we all can agree to, we can all agree that when we see a resume, the resume is telling one part of the story. But then when that person walks in, we are now going to see not just the person and they can just now highlight their work experience. This person is now coming in and what I'm really focusing on is the attitude, the professionalism that's going to come because that is going to help me to determine 
whether or not I want to hire you. I will tell you, and I've always told my students this from the time that I started teaching, I would rather take someone that does not have the level of experience but have a positive attitude because I can train that person. I can help them to, to learn the skills because a lot of my skills um, from the time I was 14, 15 years old, I learned my skills because I came with an eagerness of wanting to learn something. I came knowing that, you know what, if I stuck around this person for just a little bit of time, I'm going to learn something absolutely new. I didn't walk in with experience. I didn't walk in knowing how to do any of the job titles or any of the job descriptions that they needed me, but I came in with a positive attitude and a positive mindset thinking of what can I learn from this person? What can I gain? Because I'm, I'm, I'm itching to learn something new. So if we don't have that, and all you have is all this amazing talent and experience, then if your attitude is poor, I don't want you in my business. I don't want you on my team because your talent, it is not going to shine because your attitude is going to override all of that. And I understand sometimes it's hard for us to break, you know, the challenges, the experiences. You know, some of us, we, we, we grew up in certain environments and we feel as though that, yo, that's who I am. That, that's, that, that defines me. So I'm going to continue to act this way. I'm going to continue to conduct myself in this manner because that's the way that I've always been. And at the end of the day, certain fields, certain industries, you have to leave who you were where, you, where it was. You have to leave who you were where it was. You have to do it. You can't go into a corporate America and expect to make six figures if you still have, you know, I'm going to have this popping attitude and I'm going to, you know, pop my neck in. No one is going to want you in, in their business. They don't care how many degrees you have. They're not going to care, you know, how many years you have of experience. Because at the end of the day, it's about the attitude that comes with it. I would rather, again, I would rather take someone that has no experience but have a positive attitude over someone that has a lot of experience and that has a horrible attitude. Your attitude is really going to take you places. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm a witness to it. I mean, I've had opportunities passed up because I, I used to have a horrible attitude. If my mentor was on here right now, my mentor met me when I was 15 years old, okay? And this is me being honest. I'm gonna tell you who I used to be. I cursed out Jay-Z. Platinum artist, Jay-Z. Sean Carter, right? Everyone loves Jay-Z. I cursed Jay-Z out. Like, really just went in because of a nasty attitude. I didn't want to hear what he had to say. He didn't want to hear what I had to say. And at the end of the day, he was so determined to fire me, even though at the time I wasn't even working at Rockefeller. I was at a whole nother record label. And because of that, I was banned from the Rockefeller side. All because of my nasty attitude. All because of the fact that I just had to be right. It didn't matter that there was a level of authority. There was a hierarchy. There was a, there was a way that I could have handled the situation. But because I'm from Best Style, you from Best Style, I'm going to pop off. You're going to pop off. So I had that mentality at 15 years old. So it kind of carried and it stayed with me. So now everybody always knew I was the loose cannon. Don't say anything to Tanisha. She's going to go off on you. Don't say... That's not something that people, you should want. You should really want to, people to walk away saying, wow, Tanisha's a great worker. Wow, Tanisha, you know, she does some amazing things. People would still say that about me, but it always ended with, you know, Tanisha, she's really, she's, she's great. She's a great intern. You know, she does the work, but, and that but always came with, but she kind of has an attitude, um, you know, she might, if you say something to her the wrong way, she might curse you out, you know, and that was something that now I wish I, would, I could be able to turn the hands of time. Like, I wish I can turn those hands back. You know, I'm thankful that people have been able to forgive me because now here I am, what, 15 years, 15, 16 years later, and I need those people. You know, it's, it's kind of like, it humbles you when you have to pick up a phone call, I mean, pick up the phone and call someone 
that you cursed out 16 years ago and say, um, I need your help on a project. Like I, you know, you see what I'm doing. I'm getting in magazines. I'm getting more interviews, but how can I maximize my, my, my potential? How can I get into, you know, the platforms that I want and I need their help. I have to now humble myself and thankfully they're able to forgive me from being that nasty person. Although I had great work ethics, my attitude stunk. Some people are not going to forgive you. Some people are really going to say, oh, well, look, it is what it is. As time goes by, hopefully those people will forgive you. But at the end of the day, you have to think about what am I doing? Are you holding yourself accountable? And if you're not holding yourself accountable for your actions, Jay-Z, he says something inappropriate to me. But did I have to respond the way that I did? I have to worry about my actions. Just because he threw something negative at me, did I need to respond back? Or could I have just walked away? There are ways that we can handle things in a professional setting and even in our personal lives. Every time someone throws a blow at you verbally, I'm talking about verbal, I'm not, I'm not speaking of someone putting their hands on you. That's something totally different. But it's all about how we handle things. And from there, now we can say, look, it's not worth me entertaining. It's not worth me even putting out there. I have to be the one that's going to hold myself accountable, right? You don't have to wish for things to be different. All you need is God. Yes, but see, everyone, Donald, thank you for that comment, Donald. Everyone is not there. And I understand that. Majority of my messages are all about God and what God can do for you. But I try to meet people where they are today. There are some people who are not to that space where they can truly say, God, I surrender all of this to you. I surrender my bad habits because I had to do that. I had to surrender the Tanisha that was angry, that was sarcastic, that was ready to fight, that was ready to pop off. I had to surrender that. And I had to understand that allowing God into my life, he was going to transform my life. I didn't know that when I did it, but I understand that now. But again, when we're in the work setting, we, type, we like to just look at it. Well, I know what I'm doing, so it is what it is. That's not going to take you far. That is not going to take you far. Your talent alone by itself is not going to take you far. Your attitude is really going to take you places. Are you humble? Are you able to say, you know what? My bad. I made a mistake. You know what? I didn't mean to say that. There are certain things that we just have to say, you know what? I'm going to take the L on that one. I messed up today. I apologize. Or just be able to say, you know what? I didn't need to say that. And that's something else. A lot of us, we don't filter. Sorry about that, guys. Like, we really need to filter the things that we actually say. A lot of us just say whatever we want. Like, oh, well, you know, and it's like word vomit. We just speak. What happens to stopping and saying, do I really need to say this? Is this the platform? Is this the time? Is this even necessary? Like filtering the things that come out of your mouth, it is going to save you so many times from being in situations that you don't want to be in. Everything does not warrant a comment, a reply, anything. And I'm trying to teach that to my teens right now. Like I said before, I'm working with middle school, pretty much middle school and high school students. Start